Alright guys, I just wanted to show you uh, how I have my Phantom set up uh, with this new uh, Zenmuse gimbal and some other cool stuff. Uh, this is the uh, Tradecraft Cases Tough Case XR. I really like it because it's got some extra features and some extra room for some cool goodies I'm going to show you in a second. Um, what I've got here is the Phantom with the new uh, DJI Zenmuse H3 2D gimbal. And it's a pretty nice uh, unit. Uh, of course, you can see all kinds of uh, videos online, but it's basically taken me from flying around with shaky video to just super smooth right out of the box. I mean, it's, it's incredible uh, what it can do, even for a beginning flyer. Um, so it's all self-contained. It's all pre-calibrated. There's no computer settings you have to mess with or anything. You just solder some wires, uh, plug some uh, plugs in, and screw it on, and it's done. When you plug your uh, uh, GoPro into the back, it actually it plugs into their accessory port, so it snaps in there uh, good and solid. It actually uses two screws to hold the camera in, which is a good and a bad thing. Um, as you can see, they're small specialized screws. And if you know anything about GoPros or if you've used GoPro cameras, you know they freeze sometimes. Uh, I've had several, uh, several of mine freeze. I've had a white and a black edition. This is the black edition. And I've had some random freezes with both of them. When you have a freeze, you have to pull the battery. And you can't just pull the battery in this without unscrewing. So if you're going to take this into the field, you're going to have to bring a small screwdriver set with you, too, just in case. Um, it does supply some power to the camera. It's not super necessary because your GoPro battery is going to outlast your Phantom battery many times over. Uh, in addition to the Zenmuse gimbal, I hooked up an FPV uh, system. So what I have is the Gowie Vision system, the GV100. Uh, it's available right now for about $370 online. It's an all-in-one system, everything you need to get started with FPV. It's a 5.8 gigahertz, uh, 500 milliwatt transmitter. And it includes a wiring harness. And what you do is, is you solder, uh, within the wiring harness, you solder um, two wires for power, positive and, and ground. And those are going to wire right into the Phantom. The Phantom has uh, some power leads for you. And then also you're going to need the video transmission cable. And that that's included with the, the uh, Zenmuse gimbal. It's inside and there's just two wires to solder for that. Uh, a, a video and a ground cable as well. And so everything is soldered inside and I have the harness coming out. I can unplug it if I need to and uh, take it out and this is just double sided velcro. That's how I have it held on there. On the other side I have mounted a uh, Garmin uh, cellular GPS tracking device. And so this will transmit over cellular data uh, anywhere my Phantom goes. It'll save my recorded flights. But more importantly, if I, by pilot error or something screwy happens and I lose my Phantom, I fly it too far where I can't see it or it lands in a tree somewhere, um, I can track this uh, through my iPad, my iPhone. Uh, if you have an Android device, it works with that. If you have a computer, it'll, it'll work with any web browser as well. Uh, but there are dedicated apps for the iOS devices and I think the Android devices too. I picked this up for $100 on eBay. Uh, it was a refurbished unit, but it included one year of service. So $100 for a year uh, with everything, I thought was worth it. Uh, when you're flying with almost you know $2,000 worth of uh, gear here, uh, I thought a $100 insurance policy for a year was uh, was pretty cheap. And it's also neat to be able to track your flights and kind of uh, have a, have a history and a record of where where you've flown. So everything fits nice in the case. Um, everything fits you know within the landing gear, which works well with this case. Uh, and on the, on the XR case, there is a FPV pocket now. I think Tradecraft designed this for Fat Shark goggles. I don't have Fat Shark goggles, um, but with this Gowie GV100 system, it includes a really nice uh, monitor and a video receiver, 5.8 gigahertz, all in one. Now there's a 650 milliamp uh, 3S battery inside here, and here's your uh, balanced charging plug. So all you do is you pull out your antenna, Screw it on. And what you would do is, is once your GoPro is fired up and your Phantom is fired up, you just uh, switch it on and it shows the channel that you're on, which would correspond to the channel that you've picked on your uh, video transmitter on your Phantom. And then of course, uh, you just, you could, it's all self-contained units. So you could hand it off to a friend, a child, uh, somebody that's never experienced it before, they can sit there and, and watch your flight uh, while you're flying around uh, the park or, or wherever. It's pretty nice um, uh, for FPV. You can actually mount it to a transmitter, which I'll show you in a second. 
or you know you can just hand it to somebody and let them use it it's just nice because you don't have all these wires dangling around and some special chart you know some special battery bolted onto the side and I just like it because it's real clean looking it's real nice they did a nice job with it it may not be technically the best uh, FPV range or system that's out there but I just like that it's clean I like that you can hand this to anybody and they're not gonna mess it up they can they can use it and, and it's real lightweight they can hold it um, so it works real nice I haven't tested the full range on it uh, but it's going to be great for what I fly. It's not going to be the best thing for the experts out there that want to fly as, uh, to the outer reaches, but uh, that's not what I'm really into right now anyway. So uh, you just switch it off, and then you can unscrew the antenna. Drop this down in here, and it just stores really nice uh, all inside this case. So that's it. Now I'm going to show you uh, how the system will work when it's mounted up to the transmitter if you actually want to fly uh, FPV uh, while you're flying. Alright, so if you want to mount the monitor on your transmitter, it's no big deal. It's just a couple of screws and a small mounting bracket. Of course, everything is included with the Gowie system. You don't have to go out and buy a special bracket for a DJI transmitter. It works great. So while I'm getting that screwed in, I wanted to share with you guys one thing about the transmitter. The Zenmuse gimbal does have a tilt function and you can access that with a lever that you put in the back of your stock transmitter to tilt the gimbal up and down. Um, people are going to tell you on forums to just stick a, a screwdriver in the back of your transmitter and you can also tilt it that way. Do me a favor, be careful when you're doing that or don't do that at all. I did that to mine. I stuck a small screwdriver in there. You can't really see what you're doing and I stripped that screw. It's just a plastic screw inside the transmitter so I may have ruined that. I may end up having to buy a new transmitter. So there it is and then all you do is you would, uh, after you put your flight battery in your Phantom, you just switch this on and it powers the monitor, of course it shows no signal, and you can fly uh, with FPV. Now in the sunlight it's not super great, uh, it's okay, um, but uh, now, now I see why you would want to use goggles, but I'm more likely leave the monitor off and let uh, uh, just a friend or uh, uh, one of my kids play with it and watch it uh, while I'm flying. Just a quick uh, function test showing you the gimbal working with the FPV transmitter. One thing I did wanted to share with you guys is be very careful when you're touching the gimbal once it's powered up. In fact, don't touch it at all once it's powered up. So what that means is before you put your Phantom flight battery in, make sure you turn your GoPro on and you hit the record function to go ahead and start recording. Uh, you don't want to do that after you've powered the gimbal on because then you're putting pressure on those motors. And uh, here's the uh, FPV screen uh, launched right now. I've shown you uh, how it's going to work with the transmitter. And I'll just uh, move the phantom back and forth a little bit to show you how smooth it stays uh, through the FPV screen.